Alright, I want to talk about um, Emil, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that in phrase. The, the accent is, is over that first E. Emil, Emil, Durkheim, sorry. Um, Durkheim, let's just say, say that. Um, um, <clears throat> I want to talk about Durkheim's idea of the enemy. Um, the enemy is pretty much a defect in in society. Uh, Durkheim is pretty much the founder of functionalist so sociological methods, um, and I would, if I was doing primarily sociology, I would, I would, I would ascribe to this functionalist perspective, definitely, of course, um, you know, and I, I'm reading out of this book, Social Theory by Charles Lemmert, um, great book, full of, full of stuff, full of different, various so social, social thought, um, so yeah, um, yeah, there's, um, Karl Marx, Durkheim, and Weber in here too, as well as tons of, of other stuff. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna kind of, I had, I had a video previously kind of talking a little bit about the social realism uh, of Durkheim, but I'm gonna talk a little, I'm gonna talk a good bit about the, about the, about the anomie, anomie. Um, so first of all, we have, we, we, I, uh, talked about social facts in the, in the previous video, which are, uh, Category of facts present in special characteristics, um, manners of acting, think, thinking, feeling, external, external to the in, to the individual, which are in which are invested in coercive power, in which um, controls are, are I don't know. I don't know what I what I wrote. What I wrote there, uh, yeah, I read, I re, I re, I reread this earlier, and I wrote down all this stuff, but I'm really bad at handwriting, so forgive me. Um, so that's what makes up a society. He takes a social, a social realist view, um, which you know, primarily says that society is a um, society is a scientific natural thing uh, made up of facts, values, sentiments, emotions of people, external and, and internal to the individual, also made up of social facts. It's also a product of, of it's also a natural, natural product of, 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 of history, society is, and it can be investigated and, uh, you know, looked at and uh, experimented on just like any other scientific thing. So sociology is a scientific discipline as well. Um, Anomi is, um, really, I'm, I'm going to relate this to Karl Marx, too, uh, which is really, really, really interesting. Um, Anomi is among societies where individuals, the condition of instability resulting from breakdown of states, of states, of states, the standards of values, uh, it's also a among societies or individuals it's a breakdown from lack of purpose or ideals. So anomy is basically a defect in, in, in society. In the functionalist view of, so, of so, social theory um, it's looked at as to whether society is functioning or not. And Durkheim says that anomy is when it's not functioning. And he gives various reasons as to why it's not as why it's, it's not it's not functioning. And he also he also gives a solution as well. Um, and he also he talks about su suicide as well. Suicide is a very big thing for for Durkheim as well. There's 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 for various kinds. Economic suicide um, is a uh, suicide from breakdown of social standards necessary for for, for regulating behavior. Um, so, in this defect of of society, 
people don't are losing lack of their you know losing purpose ideals um, it's societal in instability um, and that's from the, the, the breakdown of the st st standards and values um, you know the common values and meanings you know stuff that you know you, you that stuff that used to mean things you know it no longer has 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 the same meaning there um, no longer stood by no longer understood by by various people so we have this breakdown of meanings values of course and uh, none reconstruct really none of them re re reconstruct back up um, it leads to a psychological futility lack of value and meaning lack of purpose and emptiness and despair okay so um, among the people in a society plagued with with, with uh, enemy um, it leads to a psychological state um, state of futility lack of purpose lack of a goal um, sorry, I got a battery. It's going down. Um, um, they have no idea of what they want. They have no idea of what is what is desirable. Um, and trying to move towards something, trying to move towards a certain goal, or trying to trying to make things better, is useless. Useless because they don't they don't know what will do that for them. Um, there's no norms. Uh, it's also thought of as normlessness. Um, Robert K. Merton is a, also another theorist who says that enemy is people having lack of means to achieve their personal goals. So it's lack of a means. It's means as a apparatus towards achieving all of their goals. Uh, so they they don't have that. It's a defect in in society. Um, and Durkheim also talks about how how this how this occurs. We have two stages of of society. We have a mechanics a mechanical society and an organic society. Mechanical is a simple society. Um, the work is very simple. Um, people behave and people do things and think alike to, to each other. It's um, a lot of bonding. It's, you know, a lot of people doing things together, work, working together, working together, living together um, in terms of each other. Um, more or less, um, they do the same things, really, too. Um, and they even have a group, you know, they have a group, a sense of a group, in the sense of what they're moving towards, also. Um, so, um, the one thing, the one thing I had, I had or, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll say that after I define the organic society. The organic society is a complex society. Um, we lose that, that group, that group, the group orientedness. People aren't doing the same work. Um, less, um, less social, social bonds. Um, less, less ties, um, you know, um, I, I would even, I would even go as, go as far as to say in the, in the, in the organic society, um, you do have a difference in class, I would say, um, I don't, Durkheim doesn't, d doesn't really say that, but this, I'm, 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 I'm th th thinking about Marx here too, um, you know, we have, um, I think that when we get towards a more complex, less ties to, to, to each other, I think we do end up with people who have more money over here, you know, more money who have the, who have the means and the apparatus towards, you know, livelihoods, you know, bourgeois if you want to be marked, marked terminology, and then we have the proletarian over here who have no choice but to work and are basically turned turn into a commodity. Um, I would even go as, go as far as to say myself that this organic society is where we do have this class split. But that that's just that's just my, that's just my thought. Um, so
essentially, the reason I'm saying this this stuff about Mark is because the reason we that the, the, the society moves up towards a organic society is because people have unlimited desires. They have things that the, things that we always want, and this is not um, this desires of of ours is not is not. Um, it's not. It's not managed. It's not capped. Um, so all the, all the other reason I'm, I'm referring to Marx is because it's a disturbance of equilibrium. Um, and the f next stage after this organic or this organic society is anime. It's this big defect that comes from this acting on these unlimited desires of what we want and uh, you know the lack of the bonds and all, the lack of the ties and bonds and uh, you know you know we don't we don't have a equilibrium we don't have an equilibrium between the needs and the means we um, if the needs exceed the means or um, Either way, if, if the needs and the means exceed, if one goes goes above the other, then we have a defect in 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 society. Um, you know, if we have an equilibrium between needs and means, then we have a stable society. We we have a you know a functional society. Um, The solution to prevent and to to end anomie is moral and social constraints. Um, it's it's to limit desire for fulfillment. Because if we if we limit desire for fulfillment, then we will not end up with the class split, the end of ties. You know, um, we won't end up with. Um, you know, the needs and the means getting all out of whack, you know. We'll, the way to the way to um, prevent this defect in society is to restrict and or give or put put constraints on more moral and social constraints on desires and uh, to end up with a more stable society in equilibrium and I think that this touches on Marx as well this makes me think makes me think the same thing about Marx because if we wouldn't have a bourgeois class if there were moral and social constraints um, you know, um, I think that the communist moral and social constraints is, is a little ex excessive, but, you know, um, if we had moral and so social constraints in some form that was, you know, constitutional and, um, you know, you, you still had freedom, you know, uh, there would be a lot more st st stability and less class struggle. Um, so, yeah. This is just really, really interesting, especially because of the, of the fact that this does make 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 one think of Marx. Um, and I think that this is definitely prevalent in today's society. Uh, I think that I think that um, a lot of a lot of today's world is in this organic society of. Um, Lack of it. There's not a whole lot of equilibrium, even the even in the U.S. There's also there's also lots of anomie, you know, too. So it's it's definitely prevalent. What what Marx and what, and what Durkheim say, you know, even though it was so long ago that they that that, that, that they wrote the, these things, um, what what they what they all say is still prevalent today. Even if for Marx, communism is the, the, the 